welcome back. Uh, we're ready to get right into the next mission. Still in the Neria system, still grinding towards uh, the tarot card. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully we'll be above 100... Uh, hopefully above 360. Oh, right on 360. I only got two pieces of influence for that. Mm. Let's find the highest one. Bunker busting. What have we got here? 181. No, 1081, sorry. 1,104. We'll take that. That number I just said was the power rating for the mission, if, you, if that wasn't obvious. Yeah. Or, let's try this silence the guns, because I'm seeing that it's that one's a little blue line. Oh, just pointing with my finger, <laughs> which you can't see. There's a little blue line from these things. If I do that, you can see it pointing. It seems possibly pointing down towards the planet. This one, the silence, the guns one. That little line, blue line pointing from the thing, is definitely pointing to the space station. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a silence, the guns on a space station, which I would quite like just for a bit of a change of scenery. So I'm going to try that one. While eating another cherry. Well, looking at the shape of the map, I don't think it's going to be. I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the planet, same as everything else. Let's go for it anyway. Following a vermilion class classified episode in factional power play, the Inquisition is forced to support elite troops of the Astro Militarum against an isolated band of Chaos Raiders. The covert operation aims to cripple the heavy weapons capability of the invaders. Let's do it. I don't think I've seen that picture before either. I was just having a little look up uh, what juxtaposition is. Um, and it is kind of what I thought it was. And I think the I think the thing with um, with the holy stuff and sort of religious aspects and the war stuff with the marines, I think is to a juxtaposition to highlight the extremes of the their religiosity by juxtaposing the religious stuff against war stuff. As, Oh. You are right on target, Inquisitor. The Argus scans show multiple heavy weapon platforms in close vicinity, keeping the Imperium forces under fire. Act quickly, or soon there will be no one left to thank your valiant effort before they get mind scrubbed anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they're juxtaposing the, um, the religious imagery against the military and war imageries. Um... To kind of just make a highlight the extremeness of the. Oh, he looks cool. Ooh. Highlight the extremeness of the of what the Space Marines are. Repent. Kind of. The war of warness is sort of maybe it's, maybe it's just to make the whole thing sort of more epic. Because the war stuff is they're epically warlike and they're epically religious. And I think the juxtaposition of the two sort of emphasises the those extremes. Getting all literary, literary now. And of course you've got the... 
again the extremes of the... Well, I was going to say the extremes of good and evil. But the... What is this thing? The space marines aren't necessarily good. So you've got the... Um, blood Angels chapter, who it's rumoured to drink blood. Or at least have a craving to drink blood. Which is actually very similar to the corn craving for blood. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, etc. But the... I think that's why the chaos uh, characters are... The juxtaposition there is the... I guess not so much the goodness of the Space Marines, but the religiosity of the Space Marines. Contrasted with the... Um, the devotion to evil that the Chaos people have. I suppose you've got the... Teleport beacon in range. Uh, the extreme orderliness of the Space Marines versus the chaotic nature of chaos. There's a bit of a juxtaposition there as well. fight and I've lost track of my thoughts. Yeah, their religious fervor Sacred. is um, I guess juxtaposed against the chaos's extreme depravity. That's why it's not just good versus evil, it's sort of extreme religious versus extreme evil. I, I do think it's for the purposes of the juxtaposition and the, the differences are so extreme that it just makes the whole thing feel massively epic. There's no subtlety. <laughs> The example that I was uh, reading about briefly, I only read like the first paragraph or two of the article. Yeah, I googled, um, what did I google? Use of juxtaposition, I think. I, so I sort of wanted to, I know it's sort of two contrasting things, or even contradicting things, like put side by side, for a literary reason, but I was sort of not completely sure what the... Oh, I wanted to actually go the other way. There's a little islandy piece that I want to explore there. Yeah, but I wasn't wasn't completely sure what Teleport the usual idea for 
what the usual idea behind using juxtaposition would be, like it was to just to emphasize the difference or to make some sort of metaphorical point or something like that. Um, and apparently it's just to make a point and what the point is doesn't really seem to matter, it's just to sort of create atmosphere, that kind of thing. Um, can be used to sort of create a general feeling of discomfort. Um, they used uh, the example of uh, Milton's Paradise Lost with the extreme uh, just contrasting the extremes of good and evil being God and the devil which is sort of what you've got with Chaos and the Marines you've got the undying emperor who's sort of this sort of Christ-like figure and then you've got the just these demonic utterly evil uh, things that are so blatantly and openly evil. And they... Which I suppose they have to... Maybe they use that. Because they can't use... Um, so sort of one side being violent and another side being averse to violence but only using it when it's necessary. It heresy to think that these hostiles were a bit out of your league. Teleport beacon in range. It's kind of how you get with um with Batman all the baddies will kill but Batman's the difference with Batman is that he he absolutely refuses to kill that's his like he won't cross that line. Whereas in the 40k universe, everybody kills everybody else all of the time, so they can't use that to to communicate the good versus evil thing. So they have to have this sort of extreme uh, religious space marines versus the extreme chaotic chaos who worship demons. Something like that. Mm. Oh, and the other example they had was um, Tale of Two Cities, where they starts off... The, like the opening sentences of *Tale of, uh, of Two Cities*, or it's, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, etc. Um, creating this, the sense of disparity between the rich and poor, um, leading into the French Revolution. Uh, I don't think I want any of those things. Anyway, that, well there we go. That's my. Uh, Waffling on. I don't think. I don't think that's as good as what we've got. We'll have a look at it anyway. Let's see what was that. Oh crikey! Hey, what have we unlocked there? Oh no, it's just the next level. Stagger exploitment. Five percent critical chance and ten percent strength against debuffed enemies. And a skill point. Uh, what have we got here? Let's just check that. It's not as good. That's not as good either. The rest of it is not stuff I want. So we'll flog all this off. All this new... Uh... They've updated the stock. That's not as good. How about that? 90, that's 90, that's 90. How do I still have an 89 implant? I was pretty sure I'd already bought one at 91. Maybe we just made that up. I could go for that. Let's just see these. Oh, no, we're going for that. 137. Is that 136? That's 136. Take that one. You successfully stun it and it recharges suppression. 17% cooldown for Blade Flurry. Which one's Blade Flurry? Oh, right. I saw wallop people just generally hit people quicker. And damage bonus for White Strike, so definitely taking that one. Good there. 
21. Suppression damage, critical hit, cool hit strength. Hmm, maybe I'll get that. Blueprints that I don't have yet. No idea if they're worth buying, but I've got tons of money. Purity seal for 91. All three thingies available. These are better. 12 hit points per kill, damage against enemies, DDT duration. Or. E damage, suppression resistance, and suppression resistance per kill. Let's go with the suppression resistance one. What else do we have here? Uh, they're all 90. I don't want that one though. 11 critical chance. No, 1.1 critical chance. So it's effective effect of melee attacks, 5% doesn't stun. Critical hit chance and 11 focus. I could go for that one. What do I want here? Damage against bleeding enemies, suppression, regeneration in cover. Focus cross deflect chance against melee attacks. Physical resistance and warp resistance. Let's go with that one. Take that one for 91 as well, just because it's 91. No, it's the same. Let's have. Get that one in. Get that one in. Suppression damage. Oh, that wants to be there then. Which only raises me up by four. But I use the. There we go. Yeah. That's alright. No, it only raised me up by three. Uh, but I actually use. Uh, the heavy bolter for suppressing folk. So that's actually the right place for that to be. Get a bit of cash back there. Is that the end of the mission? That's the end of the mission. So I'm done. I'm ready for the next one. Uh, oh no, I've got a skill point to spend. Mm, now then, now then, now then. Puritan path. What's that? Taking any warp damage creates a holy rage effect. Let's take that. Yeah. What 
lot of debuffs then. Oh, it's like things like s slow and stun and yeah, right. I should put some stuff in there. <laughs> Maybe next time. No. Mm, that's the end of this one then. Uh, cheerio.